Time division multiplexing is a very primitive and well-known technique that has long been deployed in public switch telephone networks. It is important that we go a little bit more into the details of how TDM was implemented in these networks. For that, we'll have to start with the well-known technique for analog to digital conversion known as the PCM. We then appreciate a digital hierarchical standard which was devised by the ITUT to compensate and make it interoperable with the American standard, a hybrid hierarchy was also devised. And finally, we'd look at the digital hierarchy that was coined to meet the high bandwidth requirements and the emergence of fiber optic communications as the end-to-end -end transmission system. Pulse code modulation, or PCM, is the analog to digital conversion technique that samples user data, a user analog voice sample at the rate of 8,000 samples for a voice which is band limited to 4 kilohertz. Then these samples are quantized in 256 different levels. Each level is encoded using 8 bits. Consequently, for a use for a user analog voice a digital equivalent of 64 kilobits per second stream is obtained this user data or digitized voice is then fed into a multiplexing system that takes user data from individual user and so many other users and passes it on to the other side of the communication system for that, ITUT coined a hierarchy known as the digital hierarchy. On the rightmost side, you see the European hierarchy. In the middle is the American hierarchy. We'll just compare the two, but my primary focus is going to be on the European hierarchy. As you can see that in level zero, in the European hierarchy and the American hierarchy, the user voice is sampled and digitized into 64 kilobits per second stream. In European hierarchy, 32 of such 64 kilobits per second channels are multiplexed together to create a bit stream of 2048 kilobits or 2.048 megabits per second. Of these 32 channels, 30 channels are all for voice. The first time slot, that is the zeroth channel, is for the purpose of synchronization and alarms. The 16th time slot is used for establishing voice connections, especially for the signaling of it. You, you would also appreciate that similar to the European hierarchy, the American hierarchy grows with from zero, level 0 to level 1 with 24 voice channels, creating an effective data rate of 1.544 megabits per second. And then you can understand the remaining columns by knowing the multiplication, multiplexing factor and the resultant bit rate. This ITUT hierarchy is a digital hierarchy that was predominantly European, but it does also consider the American digital hierarchy. So in order to make these two compatible and interoperable, hybrid hierarchy was conceived that allows mapping from the European to American hierarchy and vice versa. The hybrid hierarchy starts from level zero, both for the European and American digital hierarchies. Then the top one is the European hierarchy and the bottom one is the American hierarchy. At level one, effective data rate for European hierarchy is 2.0048 megabits per second and for American 1.544 megabits per second. Depending upon the multiplexing factor, the level two and level three data rates vary 
but there is a provision that from one hierarchy you can switch to the other hierarchy for instance you can move from european level one hierarchy and using a multiplexing factor of three you can translate it into american digital hierarchy by achieving 6.312 megabits per second and then you also see that a reverse mapping also exists from the american hierarchy to the european hierarchy that is at level 3 in the american digital hierarchy using a multi multiplex multiplexing factor of 3 you can achieve level 4 at the european digital hierarchy that would otherwise be achieved by using a multiplexing factor of 4 from the level 3 of the european hierarchy now all this digital hierarchy was mostly good and it was acceptable as far as user requirements were concerned but when user requirements grew then this hierarchy needed to expand and new requirements emerged in terms of change of medium when fiber optic communication systems emerged and very an excellent bit array rate performance were reported because of very low electromagnetic interference then this digital hierarchy naturally formed part of the plea synchronous digital hierarchy here the word plea synchronous means almost synchronous digital hierarchy for that the clocking was required because the sender and the receiver need to be in sync this clocking was done through clocks provided at every exchange point however since this hierarchy was using clocks at different locations so there was a chance of maybe systems system going out of synchronization and essentially this formed a natural predecessor to the sdh or the synchronous digital hierarchy synchronous digital hierarchy in fact uses a central primary reference clock which is based on a radioactive material called cesium this cesium based clock actually is so precise and it is so well timed all this timing information is then fed to all the multiplexers in this um, hierarchical system in sth as we have seen the previous uh, previous hierarchies in sth the basic building block or the data block is known as synchronous transmission mod or transport module number one it has a data rate of 155.2 megabits per second so if you just go back you would appreciate that we actually moved from 139.264 megabits per second to 155.52 megabits per second in case of stm1 so this additional data rate is achieved by bit stuffing and padding this is beyond the scope for now but you see that the basic digital hierarchy helped us to reach the synchronous digital hierarchy that is used on fiber optic communication systems the sister technology of sth which is primarily european is american te technology called sonnet or synchronous optical network the synchronous optical network provides a different hierarchy it has the basic envelope for transmission at the rate of 51.85 megabits per second in this particular table you can see a comparison between sth and sonnet hierarchies and a one on one comparison shows that sts1 that is the american technology has a basic data rate of 51.840 megabits per second but one sts1 is embedded into three sts's and that makes an equivalent of one stm1 at the data rate of 155.52 megabits per second so essentially stm1 is equivalent to three sts's or sts-3 likewise you can look at other columns for instance the stm256 is equivalent to sts768 at 39.813 gigabits per second 
these multiplexing techniques are currently used for internet whereas these have always been used to transmit voice with internet we are transmitting voice video data multimedia content and messaging using time division multiplexing